I am in love with myself. <laughs> Uh, it's time for my morning workout. Here, let's go. One, and two, and recline, and eat. All right, Daddy, let's go the distance. That second round you will never see, because I float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Come here, darling. Oh, baby. What's going on with you today? Gonna sit in your big chair again? <laughs> Sound just like your mama. She told me to say it. She also told me we can't have ice cream for breakfast. <laughs> She's not my mama. <laughs> what does that tell these children, seeing you eating that junk for breakfast? Tells them their daddy is a fun guy. <laughs> you are going to be a ton of fun at this rate, Tubby. <laughs> Hey, Juanita, I lost four pounds this week. Look behind you, you'll find them. Here in America, everyone is free. No matter who you are, you can be what you want to be. No one can tell you what to do or say. Nothing can ever take your pride away. Loving in America. Loving in America. Hi, hi. Loving in America. What's on the agenda today besides keeping Ben and Jerry in business? Well, I got my Lily and Vernon catalog to get through. Already found me a neat little sock organizer. Oh, that's so nice that you are so busy. Are you picking up on the delicate touch of sarcasm in my voice? A touch. Daddy, don't listen to her. Bubba set a trap in the bathroom again. Beast tattling. And not. You set a trap. I told you to see what's up. Daddy! Get over here, both of you. Bubba, you set a trap for your sister that toilet. No, sir. It was for G.I. Joe. In the swamp. Well, don't you be doing that. Go eat your breakfast before I do. Oh, I told you so. Threatening to withhold the Oreos. Ooh, you're tough. <laughs> You think I was too much? I think everything about you is too much. Thank you. <laughs> Including too much laying around, too much watching TV, and too much eating frozen fat by the quart. Really, George, we have to have a little discussion about your recent lack of get up and go. Ah, people always yamming about get up and go. I'm on the cutting edge. I'm in to sit down and rest. <laughs> you haven't been to your office in weeks. What for? George Foster Investment runs itself. That's what I pay those egghead little Pondexter computer dweebs for. Take my prize money and make it bloom and grow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the other thing blooming and growing around here is your midsection. George, you haven't been to the gym in weeks. Look at you. You are 40. Nah, don't start that nasty 40 business. Listen to you, George. You are 42, not 82. You're not a sitter, you're a fighter. You fought to win that world championship. And then you lost it. But then you won it again. I fought your mama for the most beautiful woman in the world. Yes, you did. And you won, and I'm happy. <sighs> oh, Maggie, my fighting day's over. I've got no more battles. Well, I guess you're right, George. You do deserve some time to relax. Just not too much time. Uh, how about you doing a little relaxing? <laughs> Play a little hooky? I'd love to, but I can't. My battles are just beginning. Some days that Monroe Middle School is like something out of 2020. Nah, those little kids, they just act tough. But acting is all it is. See, you walk the walk, you talk the talk. You missed all of that growing up rich. <laughs> George. 
I did not grow up rich, and please stop saying that. Did you or did you not have two parents, a roof, and food? Yes, I did. Then you was rich. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, I gotta get moving. I'm starting a new program today. It's called Turn In Your Knives Lunch Hour. Knives? You gotta be kidding. <laughs> I still don't see why you're working anyway. I mean, yeah, giving something back and it's making you feel good about yourself, but good. George, I know that it is silly and frivolous of me to fritter away 50 hours a week in a public school when I could be here at home catalog surfing with you. <laughs> but then again, that's just the kind of giddy, capricious woman I am. Don't go getting all capricious on me. I was just concerned, that's all. Well, don't be. Good. I feel better now. <laughs> Bubba V, come say goodbye to your mama. I'll see you for dinner. I'm sure he'll still be sitting right here. Juanita, well, sometimes I think about driving you into the ropes. I mean, working your midsection over. Oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> Did you see what Lobster Wiener had? Mm -hmm. Girl, she looked so ugly that she made my eyes hurt. Don't <laughs> <laughs> so nice. look, he's there, man. This is George Fox, the world heavyweight champion of the world. Oh, that guy like him be doing that Monroe. I heard he's Miss Foster's husband, man. Yeah, uh-huh. And Robin Gibbons is my girl. <laughs> Afternoon, gentlemen. You George Foster? That's who I am. What you doing here? Your limo break down? <laughs> <laughs> you got a name, young man? What's it to your mama? What's it to your mama? African name, right? Roots, I like it. George? Hey, baby. Hey, hey baby. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Walker. This intruder is my husband. You know what's it to your mama, don't you? We've met several times. In fact, around detention, we know what's it to your mama as Lathan Basori. And that is Daniel Hickok. We're Miss Foster's favorite. You might say a counselor pet. In fact, I like you so much, I'm gonna allow you both to get to your next class on time by letting you leave now. Hey, baby. Peace, baby. Nice meeting you, gentlemen. George, what are you doing here? Well, after your cheerful little knife play story this morning, I thought I'd come by and, you know... Swagger up and down the halls, flex your muscles a bit, protect your woman. Now, don't swagger. <laughs> However, if the need arises, I will flex. <laughs> where I work. Baby, I don't need you to come down here and do your man thing. This is no man thing. This is a wife thing. This is a wife's life thing. <laughs> okay, Mr. Been There, Done That. What do you suggest I do? Well, I thought you could use some help. Somebody who understands these kids. Somebody who can talk to them. Somebody who's sensitive. And yet, somebody who's really, really big. <laughs> Someone like you. Actually, yes. I'll tell you the truth, George, we could actually use a lot of someone's like you. You are right. I'll do it. Excuse me? You're absolutely right. This is exactly what they need. This is exactly what I need. A new opponent for the fight of the century. Ooh, you're scaring me, George. <laughs> I can see it now. George Foster versus Bad Attitude. It'll be a knockout. Miss Foster, this is not your best idea. Mrs. Diego, please, try not to think of this as detention, but rather a, uh, a spontaneous one-man career day. <laughs> Sounds inspiring. Now, my husband has their files, and he's well aware of the children's chronic behavior problems. Yet and still, he insists on playing with them. <laughs> yeah, aren't they sweet? <laughs> now... Go on, both of you. What? I warn you, they have no respect for anyone, and they can be violent. Well, so can I.
Now, my name is George Foster, and according to your highly skilled professional counselor, you are a select group of students who have a proven talent to be a pain in the behind. Yeah. <laughs> and you're proving it! Watch it, watch it, watch it! Hey, man, what you doing there? You opening big old fingers and let loose of my personal clothes and property. <laughs> Now, who do we have here? Shasta Roberta Rose, if it's any of your business, which it ain't. Mm -hmm. Shasta Roberta Rose. Yeah, and I'm like the desert. I can't be crossed. <laughs> <You don't know. laughs> uh, the teacher says here you have an inability to get along with peers. Uh, impressive. What do you suppose that means? Means I fight. Mm -hmm. Well, how about that? I fight, too. We got a whole lot in common. Come on, sit down. Nessa, honey, you hear that? We got a whole lot in common. <laughs> yeah, girl. Except we got hair. <laughs> You're late. That's okay, you say. I don't mind. <laughs> now, what's your name, son? Mauricio, from Viejo Calavero, eh? <laughs> Hey, Mo, I gotta ask, cause, you know, here you are, a little blonde-headed kid. What's with all this Spanish? I'm Mexican. I speak Spanish. <laughs> the way it is, Baldy. Mo thinks it's kind of cool to be a minority, so he makes like he's a Latino. <laughs> Mo, you got some kind of identity crisis? You are so stupid. He is Latino. Mo's mom is a Tex and his daddy is a match. Yeah, it makes Mo some kind of fajita pita. <laughs> you gotta wash your mouth. What? I put your mouth right here. Blame all that. Hey, 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 hey. Be nice, be nice. Now, Mo can be anything he wanna be. Now, what's your problem? You the man with the folders, you tell me. Oh, what's the tea, your mama? <laughs> You've been busy. Weapons possession, fighting, suspension, suspension, suspension. Oh, hey, Baldy, why are you here anyway? I'm here to make an impression. <laughs> oh. Gotta wonder who you're trying to impress. Us or you? Mm. I know you, Pops. You're here because you need to feel better about being black and rich. Hey, I don't feel guilty about being rich. You see, I'm rich because I can read. <laughs> man, you rich because you big and you beat the crap out of people, man. <laughs> that make you rich. I'm going to be a billionaire. Yeah. <laughs> you just like everybody else. Come and gone in a day. Uh -huh. I can just see it. Punch drunk kid. Sitting around the mansion. <laughs> counting his money. Getting a massage from his Swedish maid. <laughs> Flipping through the remote when on comes Mr. Sidney Portier in to sir with love. <laughs> then he starts crying like a baby, right? Sidney, homie. I'm going to be just like you and get back down to the ghetto and send me some little ethnic children. <laughs> Come on, Dean. Let's shake it up. Hey, why don't you take your seat, son? Hey, I asked that you take your seat. No, you take a seat. You a joke, man. You an old, bald, fat joke. Nice haircut. Could use a buff, though. I took some shots, but I ain't down yet. Oh, Marshal, I'm so glad you pulled through the operation. That lucky that we're both the same blood type. Yes, and I take it as a sign we're meant to be together. We're both. Hey, 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 wait a minute. What are you doing in here? Wipe your feet. <laughs> Why are you bringing these children into my kitchen? Pick us up from right off the street and said that we had to come with us. He is a crazy man. 
Mm-hmm. He's like a one-man SWAT team with a built-in helmet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, I don't recall inviting either one of you into this conversation. Just who are you, anyway? Now, this is Shasta Roberta Rose, Juanita. Uh, this is Vanessa. This is Daniel and Lathan and Mauricio. <laughs> Getting close, huh, Murray? <laughs> what are we doing here, man? Well, I haven't figured it out yet. Except I don't think you all gave our friendship a chance. So I figured I'd grab your scrawny little behinds up and drag you over here where I could pound a few ideas into your head. That's what friends are for. <laughs> Come on, meet my new friends. Okay, you met them. Now go upstairs and lock your doors. <laughs> now be nice, Juanita. These children all go to your mama's new school. Cool. Yes, sir. <laughs> Daddy, we're hungry. That's my baby. You hungry? I'm always hungry. Well, you all are gonna do real good around here. Okay, you cook, you serve, you clean. And what about me? You serve, partner, because I don't serve. Ah, uh -oh. oh, then you don't eat. I'll help cook. I like to cook. Oh, that's my oh, darling. You come right out here. You I'm feed these eat. stray puppies, and they'll come back for more. <laughs> Miss Maggie is not going to like this. George! Uh-oh. <laughs> you should have stayed in your chair. <laughs> I found this child in our living room, and he says that you brought him here. <laughs> George, may I speak to you, please? <laughs> you in trouble now, Georgie? Give him detention, Miss Walker. Here, George. <laughs> I was raised on a farm in Kentucky. I have slaughtered hogs and gotten candy for it. <laughs> You get my drift. <laughs> George, those kids have rap sheets, and you've got them in there playing with the cutlery. Oh, my God. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I was a tough kid. I tore up the neighborhood, but I turned out all right. <laughs> all these kids needed what I needed. Somebody just grab them up, look them in the face, and say, cut that stuff out. And that made an impression on you. Somebody saying, Cut that stuff out. <laughs> no, somebody grabbing me up made an impression. You see, I was six foot three, and this guy was strong. I mean, real strong. He scared the stuff out of me. <laughs> see, there's the difference. Being scared is not what they need. So you keep thinking that this is West Side Story, and I'm telling you, it's apocalypse now. <laughs> so what you're saying is, no dance numbers. <laughs> You cannot scare these children. You cannot punish them. Yelling, threatening, suspension, none of that is anything compared to what they get at home. You're right. You're absolutely right. You're a genius. You're a genius goddess. <laughs> George? Oh, George. Just give me one hour. Now, I see myself giving you these knives, and I expect to see myself getting these knives back. Handle first. Hey, man, I don't carry around no Gensu knife. <laughs> I got my pride. Yeah, but you don't have any manners. I hand you a knife. You're supposed to say, thank you. Mm-hmm. Now, that's something we're all gonna learn here today. We're gonna hear some pleases and thank yous before we leave this kitchen. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> thank you. So, Mr. Please You and Thank You, what you want us to do next? <laughs> Clean your carpets? No, we're gonna watch you do your homework, son. <laughs> yeah, right. I like homework. I can read. Can you read? Go do something. Oh, come on, darling. Oh, that's You making cookies? I'm very good at stirring. Oh, yeah? I can crack eggs. If you like them crunchy. 
So this was your big plan, messing up my kitchen? I figured I'd start with something I knew how to do. And then what? They're just gonna hang around and get nice by osmosis? Yeah, maybe. Maybe they'll hear please and say thank you and learn a little common courtesy. Get your feet off that chair. See? Just like that. <laughs> get your feet down. Hey, what's it with you, man? Can't sit here, can't sit there, get your feet off of that, get your butt off of this. What you all over me about? I'm working on your manner, son. And stop calling me son. Everybody calling me son around here. Lathan. No, I ain't nobody's son, you hear? Nobody's. Yo, late. Chill. I'm not some after-school kitty boy snacking on co- I'm a man! Bubba V, come on. So you're a man, right? That's right. Well, I want to talk to you like a man. You see, no man coming to my house spat a food all over the floor without apologizing and picking up his own mess. Now, pick him up. I'm not your me. And I'm not yours either. Now, pick up the cookies. Please. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to write doesn't pick up cookies in that child's permanent record. <laughs> you think that's funny? You dissing me? Oh, cut it out, man. Chef said it. Yeah, late. Come and mess with me. Hey, I tell you a pot. Well, hey, hey, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold, hold it. Me. You act like a man, you're welcome to stay. You act like a fool, then do it someplace else. And that goes for the rest of you. You want to change your life, then do it. You want my help, that's up to you too. But don't be sitting around like some whiny babies blaming everything and everybody else for your problems. Yo, come on, D. Let's blow. Yo, D. Jump it, man. Come on. Yeah, D. Jump. <laughs> Shut up. And I'm not your dog. Woof, woof. I said shut up. Come on. Might want to make that your choice, not his. Hey, I'm staying. Food's good, and I bet they got a pool. <laughs> yeah, Lathan's not the boss of me. And I ain't even seen the rest of the house yet. <laughs> Man, you with me. I told you I'm not your dog, man. I'm going to give old Baldy a shot. You a fool! <laughs> Is it safe? Yeah. Old Baldy here scared Lathan good. <laughs> oh, you do. Show the man some respect, eh? That should be Mr. Baldy. <laughs> If you loved George tonight, you can catch him every Saturday starting tomorrow at its regular time. Then it's the show the critics call just naturally funny. The season premiere of Where I Live, after George, all starting at 8, 7 central tomorrow. How much good inside a day depends how much you live him. How much love inside a friend depends how much you give him. Daddy's stuck in his chair again. That's okay, Bubba. He needs his rest. Cause tomorrow he'll have to deal with me. Ha <laughs> <laughs>